So our next uh, topic is <coughs> glucose sensor. Please, or glucometer. Glucose sensor or glucometer. Actually, it is a discrete. Enos or sorry, discrete heat term. So it can be integrated with if it is integrated with any other sensor like a soreness sensor, like a pH sensor, then it can be called as commerciality, uh, can be called as uh, Enos or Enos or electronic. So basically, glucose sensor or glucometer is a discrete enos. Now we will see its working. So basically, yeah, glucometer. We look at a glucometer. There's one part is for display. Another part is will be having some sensitive electronic circuit, and there may be a, there is a port. Through this port, strips are inserted. In enlarged view, strips will look like this. Actually, it is a ceramic substrate, non-conducting ceramic substrate, and uh, it contains uh, three electrodes. One is Actually, these electrodes are made up of uh, thin film patterns and uh, copper, either copper or gold can be used to make thin film patterns of these electrodes, okay. And here, the first one is said to be um, reference electrode reference electrode and second one is working electrode the electrode in the middle part and third one is counter electrode <laughs> counter electrode actually these electrodes are made up of nanoparticles of uh, platinum in the case of working electrode and the counter electrode nanoparticles of platinum are used okay pt nanoparticles and here is uh, for uh, the case of reference electrode it is uh, coated with a silver paste ag agcl Nano paste, paste containing nano particles of AgAgCl. Okay, so these are the three different uh, electrodes in thin film pattern.
So now we will see the role of uh, role of the working electrode. <coughs> Actually, I'm going to draw an enlarged view of working electrode. The working part, the working electrode part, the consists of uh, multi layers. Base layer is of course either Cu or gold and then it is coated with platinum, it is a second layer, base layer is Cu or gold, second layer is platinum nanoparticles, then thirdly it will be coated with <coughs> yeah, bioreceptor. Bioreceptor or uh, bioreceptor, namely glucose oxidase enzyme. So, so this is the third layer, glucose oxidase enzyme. And afterwards, to immobilize, immobilize the glucose oxidase enzyme, it will be coated with cytosine. So the fourth layer is. So, except working electrode, remaining electrodes are made up of single layer, two layers, whereas in the case of working, layer, working electrode, there are four layers of that, including the base uh, copper layer. Now we will see the working of uh, Glucose, uh, what we can of this uh, glucometer or glucose sensor. So, when a drop of uh, blood is placed on the marked region of uh, string, that is exactly on the working electrode. blood drop is placed, when it is placed on the working electrode, keep in mind that it will be inserted into the glucometer. Okay. So the port of glucometer and there will be a display. So when a drop of blood is placed on working electrode, glucose molecules in blood in blood reacts with uh, glucose oxidase enzyme. That is glucose oxidase enzyme. in blood reacts with glucose oxidase enzyme and it, the products will be gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide. Gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide. Then secondly, H2O2 reacts with PT electrode in the, at the working electrode and it gives 2H plus two electrons plus 
work of oxygen is rendered. So, yet for a single molecule of glucose molecule, reaction with gluconic acid, uh, sorry, gluconic acid, uh, sorry, glucose oxygen is enzyme, and it produces, when it produces, two electrons. So you can, so that, and it produces current. So it means, initially, once you, inserted the strip into the glucometer device, the beginning, it will not show any reading. It will not show any reading because the circuit is in balanced state. So it will, there is no output current. So it will, it will not show any reading in the display. So once the blood is placed on the working electrode, Glucose molecules react with glu uh, glucose oxidase enzyme, glucose oxidase enzyme, and it produces current. So every molecule produces two electrons of uh, two electrons. So the current magnitude is proportional. You can ca calibrate as a function of glucose concentration in the blood. So current production leads to unbalances the circuit and it will it will leads to some voltage signature and it can be amplified and converted to the corresponding uh, glucose concentration in the blood. So finally your display in your display some readings will be display and it corresponds to the concentration of glucose in blood. Suppose uh, if it is displayed as a uh, hundred means hundred micrograms per deciliter of blood. So your sugar level concentration of glucose will be hundred micrograms per deciliter. Huh? may be 110 micrograms of deciliter. So it is purely based on the concentration of glucose. So this is a one way of determining concentration of glucose using glucose sensor or transducer. Uh, this is uh, based on nanotechnology and so actually Glucose means it is a, it gives you sugar sugar taste so or sweetness taste is sweetness when it is combined such a glucose sensor is combined or integrated with any other taste device like soreness. Soreness means uh, soreness uh, sensor like pH uh, sensor when a glucose sensor is integrated with the pH sensor it's, uh, then it, it can be called commercially called as Enos Enos or electronic modes so basically a glucose sensor is said to be a discrete uh, heat on this heat on is said to be a discrete enos so some it has some uh, disadvantages two disadvantages one is that uh, you need to punch your hand with a needle to draw, to draw blood, so you need to punch your hand to draw blood, so it is uh, painful, painful, so, 
and it is uh, inconvenient especially for children okay and secondly uh, the strips are once used you cannot use strips repeatedly the strips are once used so recurring cost is very high recurring cost is very high so these are the two disadvantages of this type of glucose sensor uh, discrete electronic uh, tom nowadays uh, there are uh, different co different concepts are developed to determine concentration of blood uh, concentration of sugar in blood that is uh, using uh, ior near infrared uh, ior uh, detectors so this i uh, this kind of uh, near ior detectors can able to give uh, information about concentration of uh, glucose in blood in a non invasive manner so this is all about uh, glucose sensor